What's up, boys? It's Nick from Team Table 501 here. I'm the King of the Scrubs, and today I'm going to bring you my ABC deck profile pre Megatons. Now, before I get into the profile, there's a few things I need to talk about. Uh, first, as you can see from the title, I am using a bunch of proxies. It's mostly because I haven't had the chance to go to my locals in quite a while, and I won't be able to because of college. I've had to devote almost all of my time and my and my money toward finishing up my college paperwork so that I can be ready to move in by the end of this month. So a lot of my time has gone to that. And I still haven't I've just had the ability to play Magic more than Yu-Gi-Oh because my uh my FNM is literally 5 minutes away from my house. My locals is 45 minutes the other direction. So you can see why. Um what else was I going to say? Uh, but yeah, uh, in the description of this video, there is going to be all the proxies that I use, uh, the card's effects in order of when they appear in the profile. They'll be in the description down below. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can click the link in the description and it'll take you to the card itself. So you'll know what it looks like. Uh, a few of these cards are going to be in the Mega Tin, so I'm waiting for them to be released so I can put them in here. And I'm not waiting until then to do the profile. Because I will have been into my dorm room by then, so I won't have the ability to get everything set up until I see how large the room is, where I can put the camera, you know, stuff like that. So, But until then, we've got this. So uh, I might put some DV deck profiles up, not sure yet, but uh, I might put this up my locals depending on if I can get the cards or not. Let's see what happens. So uh, this is the profile. It's a pretty standard ABC list, just with a few different cards, so... To start off, uh, we are playing the nine Union Monsters, so 3A, 3B, and 3C. Uh, you just need to play nine of this card because I'm not playing Brilliant Fusion. I didn't want to invest into Brilliant Fusion considering we are sort of in a ban list season. We don't know when we're going to get the list. Uh, although if Brilliant Fusion doesn't get hit and it drops, I will be playing it in the deck. So uh, I want to play the maximum number of Unions, that way I can have multiple Busters lined up in my graveyard. So. And you want to open up the combo, which I'll talk about at the end of uh, the video. Uh, three gold gadget and three silver gadget. Uh, these let you facilitate rank fours turn one, and the reason you're playing, or the reason I'm playing three of these, is because I want to be able able to open this plus a union, one of the nine pieces, every game. I don't want to open Thrasher because Thrasher is not a machine monster, so you cannot make Gear Gigant, which is a huge part of the combo. You need a machine to make Gear Gigant so that the combo works out. Uh, but I, I still am playing two copies of Photon Thrasher. This is just so that you can make a rank 4 if you don't open a gadget. So like if you open Photon Thrasher plus Hanger, you still have the ability to make a Tsukiyomi and set up a buster for the following turn. So I still play two copies of Photon Thrasher, and then... If you want to make Deco Talker and Dragon Buster, uh, the Symphonic Engine is a great way to do it. Uh, one guitar and one mic. Basically, while guitars on the scale, you discard a card and it summons mic from the deck. And then once mic is summoned, you get an additional normal summon. So these let you make the turn one Talker Buster, which I will go into when I'm done with the deck profile. And then my last three monsters are Hand Traps, two copies of Ghost Ogre, and one copy of Maxi. These are just the best Hand Traps right now. Uh, I did have Ashes, but I did sell them, so I'm not playing Ghost Ash and or Ash Blossom, and I'm not dropping any more money on her. I spent way too much money on her the first time. Uh, that does it for the monsters. I believe it's 20 monsters onto the spells. Uh, three Union Hanger and three Terraforming. You just want to be able to open Union Hanger as often as possible. This is one of your combo enablers. You want to see this card as often as you can. Uh, proxy Alert. <laughs> Two copies of Pot of Desires. Uh, I know in the past on my channel I have talked so much crap about Desires, but it is getting the reprint, so it will be cheaper to get. That's why I'm playing it. And honestly, it's just this deck needs the plus one off Desires. If all if you just need cards, <laughs> like the more cards you have, the bigger you can make your boards. So it's much easier to do that if you have a Desires. So. And then uh, two copies of Twin Twister. Uh, you don't want to deal with back row. 
you, you just don't want to deal with strikes and barriers and all the other shenanigans that are going around in the format. Twin Twister is a great way to deal with them. Uh, two copies of Forbidden Chalice. Just an all-around solid card. It's good against Zoo. It's good against Draco because once you say, like, activate Terraforming and they activate their Dynamite Knight, you can Chalice it. Sure, you've gone neg one, but they don't get the plus off the Dynamite, and the Union Hanger is going to recover that card advantage for you. It's also good against Dino as it can negate uh, Conductor Tyranno. It can negate um, Herald of the Arclight. So. And then the last three spells, Upstart, Foolish Burial, and another proxy is Soul Charge. Uh, so Upstart just makes your deck 39 cards. I was debating between Foolish Burial and Rhoda, but I chose Foolish Burial because it means that if you open uh, Photon Thrasher Union Piece or like Gadget Hanger and your combo gets dis and your combo gets disrupted but you have the burial, the burial keeps the combo going so that you can extend into a second buster. And the soul charge, soul charge is just broken in this format. <laughs> like it's so dumb. Like after like let's just say you open the combo to make talker buster, if you then have a soul charge, you either facilitate it into a stun rank four or another buster dragon. This thing is dumb. It needs to get banned. <laughs> and then for traps, uh, Imperial Order, your spells matter, but they don't matter as much as your opponent's spells. So if you have the order to stop your opponent from playing, it's amazing. Trenchal Tribute is amazing in this deck because all your Union monsters float. When they go to the graveyard, they have abilities. So you can defuse the Buster during their turn, get the three Union pieces, and then activate Torrential and just plus so hard. And the last proxy in the main deck is Solemn Morning. Uh, I did order this card, but it has not come yet. And again, I didn't want to wait. I wanted this done as soon as possible so you guys can at least have the profile. So uh, Solemn Morning's just great, being able to negate Link Summons, being able to stop Zodiac and Draco and things, so... Uh, 40 cards in the main deck. Uh, the only thing I would change about the main deck is maybe the Twisters for Cyclones, depending on how big of a threat uh, Draco will become in this format. But I like Twin Twisters, because discarding your Union pieces sometimes matter. So, uh, Also, if you have Brilliant Fusions, definitely play Brilliant Fusions. I'm not sure what I would cut. Probably the Symphonic pieces and... Um, <laughs> Uh, the Symphonic pieces, maybe, um, like, Upstart or Rota or something. Uh, I am messing this up hard. I have not done one of these in forever. Uh, the Extra Deck. Uh, it obviously starts off with Dragon Buster, three copies. This guy's fantastic. Just having access to this card is dumb. And this deck can function with just the one extra Monster Zone. Uh, putting Buster there and then just defusing it means you have the ability to go into a deto Deco Talker the following turn. So that's super useful. Another card coming out in the Mega Tins is Proxy Dragon. So Proxy Dragon, what it is, it's a length monster, and it requires just two, two monsters, and it points uh, left and right. So you don't want to put it in the main monster, in the extra monster zone. You want to have it put in the main monster zone after you make a Deco Talker, or you can make it in the extra monster zone to facilitate yourself into a Deco Talker. But Proxy Dragon, it basically just says that if one of your if one of your monsters on the field would be destroyed, you can destroy a monster that Proxy Dragon points to instead. And it has I believe it has fourteen hundred attack, but that doesn't matter. So, uh, but it just make it makes opening the Deco Talker Buster Dragon combo much easier to accomplish. So, like Thrasher and Hanger is dumb because of Proxy Dragon, and then of course the Deco Talker, the one, the only. Uh, this card's fantastic. <laughs> Uh, it, it requires two or more effect monsters, which you will have it when I show you the combo. And then it gains 500 attack for every monster it points to, including the one your opponent makes. Uh, and then whenever one of your cards is targeted, you can tribute a, mo uh, a monster this card points to and you negate and destroy that card. And it's not once per turn. You can do this multiple times. So, And then moving on to the rank fours, Abyss Dweller for the Dino matchup. Tsukiyomi to filter your hand. Gagaga Samurai is a way to push for damage. My favorite XC, one of my favorite XCs of all time, Starly Child Dynamo. For those of you who don't know what this card does, it's a, it's a rank 4 that requires two level 4 light monsters. And you can detach two materials to target a face-up monster your opponent controls, negate its effects, and make its attack 0. So it's an out to stuff like Zodiac Dragon after you've baited it, Masterpiece if you've baited it, and it's unaffected by monster effects. Uh, stuff like Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, it also deals with as well. And if it uh, if it dies by your opponent's card, battle, or card effect, you get to draw a card. So it's a super versatile card. Diamond Direwolf. 
I just cannot find my diamond dire anywhere, so I have to proxy it for now. Uh, it's a way to clear the back row. Castell, because it's Castell. Gear against part of the combo, and it searches out your union pieces, or it can search a gadget to make combos. Go off and number 103 Ragna Zero for True Draco and Dinosaur. So I'm pretty happy with how the extra deck is right now. Maybe I'd cut the Samurai for a Seraphonite, but... Uh, now moving on to the side deck. I've literally done nothing with the side deck. I just picked a bunch of cards I thought were good. So, uh, And there are a lot of proxies in here. I am sorry, but it's just I don't know what to side, and I had to pick cards that were cheap that I could easily buy. So Effect Veiler. Most of you know what Effect Veiler does, but if you don't, during your opponent's main phase, you discard it and negate a monster effect. It's mostly here for Trickster to stop the Lycosenia or the Candina. Two copies of Honest, because True Draco doesn't really have an out to this card. Uh, if they attack you and they don't pop your monster before damage, you can just activate Honest and wreck their day. It's also good against just other decks. So, uh, the Z Metal Tank. This card is really old and really weird, but basically what it does is, uh, if it's equipped to a Union monster, it gives that Union monster 600 attack. So what you do is, uh, you summon A, <coughs> equip Z off Union Hanger, and now it has 2500 attack. So we can out the 2,400 Floodgate monsters like Vanity Sphine and Maxi Sphine and cards like that out of the true Draco deck. And if you're playing against a deck like Domain Monarchs or Satellar Knights or some other rogue stuff, like uh, Invoked, now you have the ability to run over their monsters. So that's why I play Z-Metal Tank. And then the last monster is Gamma Seal. Any Kaiju will work. I just chose Gamma Seal because of the ability to do A plus Z and kill it. Gamma, uh, come on, this will work. Gamma Seal is just slightly better, so I chose Gamma Seal. And then two Dark Hole and a Regeki. These are just generic good cards for going second. Uh, I did have a Regeki, but I traded it to my friend, and I'm hoping to get it back. So I gotta go talk to him about it. But these are just generically good cards for going second. Book of Moon is an incredibly strong card. Not sure if I want to change it or not. But it's just here for Zodiac and Dino. Like, that's really, like, Dino is such a good deck. And then two copies of Magnet Reverse. This lets you target a machine that's banished during your grave and summon it if it can't be normaled. So basically, after you summon Buster and it gets negated or you tag out, uh, Magnet Reverse can bring it back, and then you can tag out into the three Union pieces and generate more card advantage. And the same thing is with Union Scramble. You just target three Banished Unions and you summon them back to the field. And if it's in the graveyard, you can target a Banished Union and add it back to your hand. So... Basically, Magnet Reverse is for when you go second, and Union Scramble is for when you go first. Because with Magnet Reverse, uh, sure, the Buster has to be properly special summoned for you to revive it, but uh, you can just make your Union pieces. Uh, never mind, I can't read. <laughs> so yeah, uh, basically, you can do both going first, but you this is mostly for going first, this is mostly for going second. Uh, you can do it with Buster, you can do it with Gear Gigant, you can do it with a whole bunch of other cards. But they're basically here to make sure that you never get blown out by like a Regeki or a Kaiju or any other shenanigans that your opponent might be doing to stop you from facilitating a board state. And that's going to do it for the ABC deck profile, guys. Again, I'm sorry with the amount of proxy that I had to use. I just, again, I haven't had the time to build a deck. I haven't had time to play much Yu-Gi-Oh! I have no idea what the format is. Like, I really have no idea. I wanted to wait for the ban list, but I knew that college oh excuse me oh god oh oh huh. it's just because college is starting i didn't want a ban list to drop right in the middle of me starting out college because i have to put a lot of my time and energy into that so i wanted to make sure i have a deck ready for the regional that's coming up because again i want to go to nats this year but because i've already got a job established up there at eastern so I want to make sure that I have my invite so I don't have to go to a regional in the middle of winter because I love winter regionals for how cold they are, but I hate doing it because driving to them is a pain in the ass. So, uh, but that's it for the profile, guys. Leave your thought of it and then I forgot something. Oh, well, I'll make it its own separate video. Uh, I forgot to do the combo, but I'll make the combo its own separate video. So uh, leave your thoughts of this deck in the comment section down below. Give me any ideas for cards you have or any cards you're playing or what you think of my build. Uh, I will also have links to all the cards I proxied in the description down below. 
so you can go read what they do, go look at the pictures, look at the rulings, whatever. Anyway, my name is Nick from Team Table 501. Thanks for watching, and get good, plebs.